Hey guys, welcome to Camping with Steve. Today I'm doing a little stealth camping in the long-term parking at the Edmonton International Airport. So, I've been horribly sick this week, so that's why it's kind of a not normal camping video. This is kind of easy to do. And I'll explain more about that, but this is one of those covers that you put over your windshield to keep all the snow and ice off of them. So, that'll provide some nice privacy and it's nothing that you wouldn't expect to see on one of these cars out here. I did not read the instructions on this. Just trying to get set up before the security comes around because it is patrolled. So we're gonna make this as inconspicuous as possible. In the back, this is what I've got set up so far. And I'm gonna put some of that uh, space blanket stuff around all the windows in here so that nobody can see. And then it's gonna be time for a deserved step two. But we can't do that in the car because that's care and control of the vehicle and you could get a ticket. So I'm gonna hit the lounge at the airport over there and I'm fairly close to the bathrooms. I just have to go through that parkade and I'm right in there. So I'm gonna crawl in here and get this started. Now I've done something like this before in my truck and I'd set up the back of it uh, just camp out in it but I'm gonna use these space blankets to keep the light out I'll stick it up with some Gorilla Tape um, Gorilla Glue and Gorilla Tape make really good product but those poor Gorillas This will block out a lot of the light. If an actual security guard comes and starts walking around this vehicle, we're done for, because they're gonna know. But uh, as long as we can stop them from approaching, this is a huge lot, and I'm sure they just do a simple drive around once an hour or whatever. Um, it may snow tonight, and that'll give us more cover on the windows here. And when they fog up, that's also more cover. So. I'm going to slip into the airport lounge and have a beer. I'm going to take this microphone off the camera so it's not so obvious, but we'll go in and have a drink. Yeah, I don't think anybody will be too suspicious. You can't really see in there. I think even if there was a light on, nobody would know in this sea of cars. Good, how are you? I'm very welcome. Um, sure, I'll, I'll have a menu. And do you have anything on tap? Uh, we have Bud and Bud Light, only two. Um, I'll get a pint of Bud then. Uh, hmm. Back to Value Park. So this is the humongous parking lot. I can see the shuttle driving around looking to pick people up. And a few people walking around out there, but I don't see a lot of security presence, etc. Oh yeah, security just drove past. It's right over there. This is far more nerve-wracking than I thought it would be. That security guard drives by pretty constantly. So keeping the lights off is a good idea, but can't really do that if I'm gonna film something. So, again, I have to apologize. I know this is a strange video, um, considering what I usually do, but I'm just recovering from a cold, so I didn't want to actually uh, put myself out in minus 15 degree Celsius weather, which it is. So, 
I do have a meal I'm gonna cook in here a little bit. I'm sick, so I'm making a soup. And I've got a rice cooker from Value Village. And I'm gonna plug that into the power pack there, the Jackery, and we'll cook that up. And I also got a little sandwich as well. So um, I'll feel a lot better once these windows frost up on the inside. And I do have a couple of other little um, heat generating emergency candles that I'll probably put on, but I don't need them quite, quite yet because it's quite comfortable in here despite being so cold outside. So I'll give you an update in a sec, but I gotta shut these lights off. There's a security guard actually walking around with a flashlight. I just saw him. And this is going to be trickier than I thought. Much trickier, but not impossible. I hope. Okay, I'm just in the front of the car, and I think we're about to get busted. The security guard just drove past with their light on. This is not looking so good, guys. I'm just acting like I'm getting ready to leave into the parking lot. And granted, they would, I don't know, might have to find somewhere else to camp for the night. We'll see. So for the record, I'm beginning to think this was a bad idea. But I have these little candles, paraffin wax ones. I'm gonna light up in here. Got a window cracked, of course, because I don't want to get myself carbon monoxide poisoning. And it seems to be that that security guard comes around approximately every 30 minutes or so, maybe every 45 minutes or so. That is what we're dealing with. I might not cook the soup. But I'm gonna have a little sandwich here. Mm, yeah. And I have to give a major shout out to everybody, actually. That's what I brought with me the play button. Crap. I think that's the security guard. It's hard to tell because there's the security guard that drives around and then there's planes taxiing. It all sounds about the same, but thank you to everybody uh, for subscribing to make this possible. Right. I'm going to eat some of this sandwich. I have not eaten today. I didn't eat at that restaurant or the pub when I grabbed uh, my step two, but um, mm -hmm. also thanks to everybody that supported uh, the beer donations um, because actually in an airport lounge <laughs> that was quite necessary. It was more expensive than I thought it would be for sure. Ten dollar beer, but uh, yeah. Now we're talking. I think we're in the clear for a little bit. All right. So the best way to lay low is to shut off these lights and go to sleep. But I'll tell you a quick story first. It was about 10 or 12 years ago. We were all out at the bar one night and I had to work the next day. So. I went to my friend's van and I said, sorry guys, I can't keep drinking all night. I'm gonna sleep for a little bit in the back of the van and then you can drive me home. They thought it would be a great idea to shut down the bar and then ordered plane tickets to Vancouver from Edmonton in the middle of the night, like three or four in the morning on the next flight that was available, which was fairly quick and they thought it'd be hilarious to leave me in the back of the van in the long-term parking um, 
while they went on a little impromptu vacation. I woke up as they're driving to the airport and then I made them get me tickets and we all woke up in Vancouver the next day, stumbled off a plane, etc. So otherwise I would have been sleeping here about 12 years ago against my will. But this is, I've done this in the RV before when I didn't have a place or a campground. Um, there's long-term parking at the ferry facilities, any long-term parking thing. You just go in, it's normally like five bucks a day or something, which is way cheaper than a campsite. So that's what I have done before. And, you know, I'm really not even worried about the temperature here because I'm sure this will be just fine. It's probably minus 15 Celsius tonight, which is in Fahrenheit. I'll put it up there. But, uh, yeah, no, it's just fine in this, uh, in the car with the sleeping bag on. No concerns. So, hunker down, and then we'll see what I can film through the night with the security guards coming by. I'll try to stay, stay low and be quiet, and thanks, thanks for watching, guys. Um, I'm sorry again. Uh, this is a little bit out there for a video, but uh, there's going to be a better one next week. Don't worry, guys. So, time to get to... sit up but somebody's out there that security man is parked I don't like that time to lay low and everything will be all Well, still not fully over my cold, but that worked out pretty good. I was nice and cozy. Uh, I do toss and turn when I sleep because I'm a side sleeper and my one side will get sore and then I have to do the other one unless I have ample uh, cushion. I just have a little foamy on here, but as with most stealth camping, I want to get out of here and not wear out my welcome. So, I'm going to go over to the Tim Hortons, grab a coffee, and use their facilities. And I'll pay up here. And then, once we're, once we're all packed up here, I'll just do a little, another little tour around the back and some final thoughts on this camping adventure. If you can call it a camping. It certainly was an adventure. But, um, there are other cheaper places to park. I think this one was, um, if you book ahead online, it's like $15 for a night or for a day to park here, which is cheaper than a campground usually, but uh, there's other places that are like $5 a day or something. They're a little farther. They have a shuttle that will bring you right to the airport, but that would be pretty obvious what I'm up to if I just pull into park and then I don't get on the shuttle so um, yeah I'm gonna get the day started then we'll just touch base on a few things and um, thanks for watching so far guys you you're all just so great
All right. Take the cover off. It did frost up quite a bit. Approved. Awesome. Perfect crime. So this is a very, very temporary setup because my wife does need this SUV as soon as I get back home. So I'll have to take it all out. So some people might not know, I, I used to live in a vehicle years ago. Um, it was probably a couple of months in a vehicle, just a normal car. I think it was a Pontiac G6. And then I moved to a motorhome, so I bought a motorhome and I lived in that. And I traveled around camping, so this is this takes me back. I, I do remember. I, I don't think of those times poorly. Like it was, it was really fun actually. Uh, in some ways, there's obviously struggles, and uh, it was, you know, kind of by choice. I wanted the freedom to be able to uh, just travel around and not necessarily work the 60 hours a week I was used to. So I just kind of had a break. But uh, this was a, a really cozy sleep last night. I was surprised about that. It did get down to like minus 13. But yeah, as you can see, not a ton of room in here, but uh, there's enough for uh, some basic stuff. I probably could have cooked in there, but I was so freaked out about that security guard coming by a whole bunch last night because I don't know how much of a sense of humor airports have with all the security measures and stuff, but probably they're not gonna be putting up with my little escapades. But uh, sorry for the short video today. I'm gonna actually get out and do some real camping. I'm starting to feel better. So I just didn't wanna do a sit at home vlog type of update thing for you guys. I wanted to actually get out and, uh, and do a night. So again, thanks to everybody who supported. Uh, you can look forward to some good videos. If you got a great idea for something to uh, film for the next video, like what you want to see, let me know in the comments because, you know, I go through all the comments, I respond to as many as I can. Usually the first day after the video's up, um, I'm just going through pretty constantly, but it's harder to find the comments when it's, you know, a week old or a month old, then it's, uh, it gets buried way, way down there and it's a little harder to find. So I got to get back home because my wife needs this, <laughs> this SUV. And uh, my truck's out of commission for now. Got to do some CV joint work, but uh, that's, uh, that will all get done. So thanks for watching, guys, and we'll see you next week with another interesting way or place to camp.